The latest state-of-the-art sporting facility in the southern area was opened on Saturday. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said the Mahaika Sports Complex will assist the borough in producing top-notch athletes as it did in the past. Kimberly D'Souza tells us more. At the official opening of the Mahaika Sports Complex, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said he promised the residents of Mahaika that one day the community will rise again to become the beacon and bright light they used to be. And we do so with great confidence that sometime in the not distant future, the name of the place Mahaika, Mahaika Uda, will be associated with excellence in sport as you have been for many decades. Minister of Sport and Community Development, Shamfa Kajo, described the renovated facility as a promise delivered. We as government stand committed to continue to deliver as it relates to our investment in sport. It is more than just uh, delivering stadia to the national community, but we are ever committed to delivering at the community level. MP for Point Fortin, Kennedy Richards Jr. said Point Fortin has produced football greats in the past, such as Leo Brewster, Steve David and Leroy De Leon, adding that he hopes the facility will assist in producing great football heroes. This is an opportunity to once again dominate the national football and produce countless international greats. So I hope that the, the people at Point Fortin will do just that, support what we are planning to do here in Point Fortin with respect to the, the, the sporting and, and the culture. Mayor for Point Fortin, Salima Thomas said, the facility deepens Point Fortin's mantra as the preferred place to live, work, invest and recreate. Also in attendance at the official opening were Commonwealth gold medalists and national award winners, Jareem Richards and Marshall Sedenio. Kimberly D'Souza. CTT News. Minister of Sport and Community Development Shamfa Kajo said repairs on the Atabolden Stadium have been prioritized. During the official opening of the Mahaika Sports Complex in Point Fortin on Saturday, Minister Kajo provided an update on repairs to be completed at the various stadia. As it relates to the national stadia, Manny Ramjohn, Larry Gomes, Dwight York Stadium and Atobolden Stadium works continue at Dwight York Stadium and we make Atobolden Stadium a priority this year since we'll be hosting the 2023 Commonwealth Youth Games. Minister Kajo said the Manny Ram, John and Larry Gomes Stadia will be fully refurbished, adding that the Sport Ministry will partner with the Urban Development Corporation of Trinidad and Tobago Limited, UDICOT, to develop a scope of works. She also provided an update on community swimming pools. We continue in our works of refurbishing the community pools in Diego Martin, La Hoqueta, Coquier, Sangre Grande and Siparia. And we are working with the Division of Works to get the work, scope of works done for Cuba. Minister Kajo said the recreational facility at Bukmalatris is 95% complete, adding that repairs continue on the facility at Todd's Road. 